Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today is Theological Terms Thursday and we have a new word. Be sure to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any new content that we put out. And be sure to hit that bell notification so that you'll receive an email whenever we have a new video come out. Gloria, are you excited? We have a new word. It's Theological Terms Thursday. And Gloria, actually, one of our subscribers sent us a request to do this word. So if you have a word that you'd like for us to do, be sure to send that in to the SDG by ZAC at gmail.com. And we'll do that word for Theological Terms Thursday. All right, Gloria, today's new word is parable. Can you say parable? Oh, that was, a, that was very close. I think she almost said it, guys. Gloria, a parable is a short story from taken from everyday life that has a main point and a point that can be used to, to teach you something. Jesus taught in parables, and in the Old Testament, actually, the Old Testament actually prophesied that Jesus would speak in parables when he, when he was on earth. He spoke some 39 different parables, and there's a ton of different ones. There's the king, about the kingdom of heaven. There's the, the leaven. There's the lost sheep. There's the lost coin. There's one about a net that brings in good fish and bad fish. And a bad fish, Gloria, that's a stinky fish. There's the parable of the prodigal son. There's the parable of the sower. There's so many different parables. The reason Jesus spoke in parables... Oh, well, thank you for the hug. Thank you for the hug. The reason Jesus spoke in parables, Gloria, was to demonstrate judgment to those who were unbelievers. And the reason for that being judgment is that he would be able to speak these parables to them and he would speak judgment in the sense that they were not able to understand and he would allow them to continue in their sin. But in the same way, he demonstrated mercy to them because anytime we receive or know and learn more truth about God and his word and who he is, here you go and we reject that truth, then we receive even more condemnation that lasts for eternity. So we don't wanna do that. So that's one reason why Jesus spoke in parables. And glory, Jesus didn't exclusively speak in parables. He spoke many different types of discourses and sermons. And, and they, they, there's, there are as many discourses and sermons in the four gospel accounts than there are parables. There's some 45 of those, whereas the parables there's 39. When Jesus spoke in parables, there, there wasn't some secret allegorical meaning to the the meaning of the parable you know and in several of the parables we have different specific details and there's not some secret knowledge about those specific details any details that we don't understand or are or are complex Jesus elaborates in the Gospels and tells us exactly what the meaning is so that we know so whenever we're reading a parable guys you want to try and figure out the uncomplicated main point of that parable and that and that's what the meaning of the parable is Gloria do you know what parables are now you know what parables are now all right be sure to check out the scripture references in the description to see some of the parables that Jesus spoke in the four Gospels. And I'll also include a chart that you can see to see all of the different parables that Jesus spoke so that you can read them and study them on your own time. Great job. Can I have a high five? Nice. Can you wave at the camera? Say bye. This is Theological Terms Thursday with Gloria. We'll see you next time. <laughs>